What up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Brando back again with yet some more Call of Duty juicy Black Ops Cold War news. So today, if you guys want to rewind the video real quick, you will actually see that David Vondahar tweeted out. This was minutes ago. I'm making this video as quick as possible. He was talking about how Thursday through Sunday he's going to be hiking, going through the woods, trying to level up his druid tree. And but then after that, he put Monday dot dot dot. So that makes me believe, I don't know if you guys believe it or not, but that makes me believe that maybe the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War trailer slash teaser is coming out that day. Maybe we'll find out who's making the video game. Maybe we'll find out the official title. Maybe we'll get a teaser image of the logo and maybe we'll actually get a trailer. It's hard telling, but Monday looks like the day. Maybe, uh, maybe Monday was actually planned instead of the PS5 event, which you guys know I made a video about it probably a couple hours ago about the PS5 reveal event being canceled due to all the blm and riots and whatnot but yeah guys hopefully you guys find this video uh informative hopefully uh david vondahar comes out tells us what the trailer looks like what we're going to get for next call of duty i'm excited for call of duty 2020 all right guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe please like this video if you guys are new to the channel or have been subscribed for a long time, make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys never miss any news, miss any juicy news about Black Ops, Cold War, or any other Call of Duty 2020 news along with Call of Duty Warzone. You guys know that Season 4 is coming out Wednesday, so stay tuned to this channel. We'll update you on all the new stuff in Season 4, and you guys can learn about uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. All right, guys, until next video, Squids, I'll see you later. We've got three contracts in the game currently. We have Recon, Scavenger, and Bounty. And when they complete these contracts, they earn rewards, better loot, and more cash. Because the map is so big, we've added five different vehicles. We have an ATV, this attack rover, an SUV, this big cargo truck, and helicopters. With the combination of all of those, when people start traversing, they run into each other, and we get these big road warrior fights. It's super exciting. Another key innovation is the Gulag. Usually in a battle royale, when you die, it's over. But when a player is eliminated, they get thrown in this 1v1 scenario. The one who wins gets thrown back into the match. We also have a brand new mode called Thunder. It's a bunch of teams dropping into the map, and the team that collects the most money wins the game. We've taken the fast-paced action of a Call of Duty multiplayer match put it into a larger scale, and then added a new elements. You earn cash and plunder through opening up supply crates, finding it in the ground, hunting enemies, and then completing contracts. You can have this cash on your person, but you can also bank or deposit that cash. And you can either go to a helipad to deposit that cash, but that's gonna be a hot zone. Other players know that you're there. We also have these cash deposit balloons. That's an easy way to secure your money. No one else can take it back. So throughout the mode, you're balancing, am I trying to acquire money? Am I trying to fight other players? Or am I trying to secure my money? And I think it's that depth that makes this mode so great and so unique. We put a lot of work into it, and seeing the community's reaction to it keeps us driving forward to see players exploring the map and using it in different ways. It's really, really rewarding. It's something we're super excited to keep playing and keep evolving. We delivered a AAA experience in Warzone. There's nothing like this. Warzone is free for everyone right now, so squad up and drop in.